Hey bakers, and welcome to day 15 of Baking Advent. And today, I got asked if I could make a carrot cookie. Sure, let's invent a carrot cookie. All right, so in my bowl, I have a half a cup of melted butter. I have a quarter of a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. I have one egg. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and I would add ginger, but I'm not adding it because I am stupid allergic to it. All right, give this a really good mix. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey. You don't wanna add it, you don't have to, it is optional. All right, then we are gonna add, I'm reading my recipe I wrote down at the same time, one and a half cups of old fashioned oats, instant oats, whatever kind of oats you want to add. And then we're gonna add one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of, you can use shredded, but I prefer to use like super diced, finely shredded, um, cut up uh, carrots because I feel that you get a softer bake on them. They're not as chunky, they don't get hard, and they tend to spread their flavor out a little bit more. I do the same thing in my carrot cake. It's totally preference, you can go straight for shredded, but I like to bust them down and make them very, very small pieces. Now you might be saying to yourself, Bailey, my batter seems a little dry. It's not super moist. Is it going to get a little bit more moist as it bakes? Yes, because what's going to happen is the moisture in those carrots is going to start breaking down into your batter, causing your cookie to become more moist. So don't worry if your batter is a little bit looser or uh, not as wet as you would expect it to be. I, <laughs> I just flung batter somewhere. I use an ice cream scoop um, to get a good size cookie. You're going to ice cream scoop these out onto parchment lined baking shoots, shoots, sheets. Blah, 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 blah. Pop these in a 350 degree oven for anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes or until the edges start to become lightly golden brown. Think they're gonna bake like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Let them cool and let's enjoy. Now, you might also be saying to yourself, Bailey, these seem a little boring, just carrot oatmeal cookies. You can add white chocolate chips into these. You can add nuts into these. You can add chocolate into these. Heck, you can add some cranberries, some raisins. Put what you like in them. Remember what I always say. Make it you, make it yours, make it your own. Make it what you like. Put what you want into these. It's not gonna change the bake on them. It's just gonna add additional flavor. For me, I'm going with the basic carrot cookie. All right, into the oven we go. You guys, look at how beautiful these carrot cookies are. They smell even better. They smell like carrot cake, which is funny because I'm not a huge carrot cake person, but these, oh, and they're soft. You guys, like, look. Okay, ready? Oh. Okay, that's good. It's like a carrot cake cookie. I would add raisins, golden raisins but the outside has this crunchy, just crystallized layer, and the inside is fluffy and just like, look at that. Wow. I'm calling these carrot cake cookies. These are good, you guys. Remember, make them you, make them yours, make them your own. Put whatever you like in them. Chocolate, white chocolate, berries, fruit. You guys, carrot cake cookies are amazing. Just because it comes in cake form, bread form, doesn't mean it can't be turned into something else. You guys, try this recipe out. Let me know what you think.